We back at it here in week six. Going up against a familiar foe, University of Louisiana Lafayette, man. If you guys been watching the channel for um the last season, y'all remember that game, man. You remember how it was, how it went down to the wire, and how we lost that game. A heartfelt loss, man. So what we're trying to do this year is we're trying to get that W back, man. Try to even out the the series between us guys, man. And we hope we can come out firing on all cylinders and eventually taking over the game. We don't want it to be as close as it was last year, but hey, if it is, we want to come out on top. So let's take a look at these guys this year. You know, they have the freshman of the year from last year, Trey Rogers at the at the running back position, as you can see, their offense is their strong point. They like to put up points, baby. So you see they got top 50 scoring offense in the country. And they um top 50 also total offensive yards. Um, top 100 rush offense. 85, 154 yards per game is no slouch compared to our stuff. And pass offense, top 50, bro. You know that Jordan Davis back there. He is going to be slinging the ball, trying to get, you know, his players involved. All that type of good stuff. And defensively, you can see these guys. There are no slouches either on defense. They are top 50 defense, bro. Number 36 to be exact. And just like us, we're top 50 defense. Our defense is our strong suit. So the rushing game for them, they cannot seem to get a hold of the rushing game on defense. So that might be our strong point this game to get, be able to run the ball. And But the secondary is none uh, better than others. Could be the best secondary in the Sun Belt, man. So we are going to take a look at something other stats so far this year they won against fcs west as we knew they could and they beat louisiana tech a good team and they also beat they lost to almost beat um boise state that would have been a big win for the program so they looking like they're coming out firing on all cylinders and they're doing pretty good this year so you see us we lost um our first game but there you go you know how it is we won one we lose one we win one we hope that pattern doesn't um, continue. Hopefully, we can get a winning streak started and at least get two wins in a row. And we are two and two at this point. But you look at Jordan Davis: five touchdowns, two interceptions. He's throwing at, you know, he throwing a 50% complete completion um, percentage. He out there. He hitting almost every other pass. And then your boy Rogers there: 5.6 carry um, yards per carry, two touchdowns. 91.7. He only ran the ball 49 times. 15 carries. He had two TDs last game, man. So we're ready to get it on with these guys, man. And we think we're going to take them this year. Let's go, Paladins. And let's take a W. Let's get this 2-1 and one record in the conference, man. If we get this win here, it would push us almost to the top three of the conference. We right now one and one in the conference. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vid, man. Let's get it pumped for the Furman Paladins. We want to get the upset. Everybody's counting us out. You can see right here, Kurt Herbstreit is telling us that we're gonna lose, but we don't listen to that guy. Hey, we let's go. We're gonna take it here, baby, and we're gonna meet you guys in Louisiana here shortly. Louisiana, ready to go up against the Raging Cajuns, baby. All right, let's get it started. It's a rainy day, bro. That's our, that's, this is, I believe, our first rainy day. It's rainy down here in the bayou. Man, very nasty, marsh, swampy weather, man. It just is not what we were looking forward to coming down here. We're going to be down in this area for the next four weeks, man. For the next four weeks, we'll be down here in the bayou. Going up against a lot of good teams of the Sun Belt. So let's see what we got here. So um looking at the injury report, I see that Louisiana Lafayette has a middle linebacker out for the season and a left tackle out for the season. So that's telling us we may be able to get some running going up the middle and maybe be able to get a pass rush to on the um left side of the um offensive line of theirs. So, Kerry Mason, this is your time to step up, big dog. This is a big stadium. Nobody's hardly here. They're 2-1 on the season. I guess they're still trying to win the fans over, but maybe they could not be here based off of the, you know, the weather. The weather is not the best. So, we're going to 
defer and kick it to these guys. One of the top offenses in the country at this point, top 50, and that's a lot to say. And they are from the Sun Belt, and they are the Raging Cajuns, so you know they're going to be raging. Let's go. Big tackle to start the game off. Man, it's a messy game. I can see it already, boy. It's very messy. Very messy game. Hopefully, we can hold on to the ball. We might not throw as much this game, but heck, we never know. Might be a pretty good game to throw the ball. Might be able to hold on to it eventually. Oh, big catch for these guys. You know they're going to throw it. They're going to top receiver Keenan Barnes there. That's their top guy. He's going to be out here all day long trying to make something happen. And we cannot forget, like I stated earlier, the freshman of the year from last year, Trey Rogers is back there. He's the impact player. Let's go. Let's see if we can get some type of stop. They give it to the big horse, and he's looking to take off. Luckily, he lost his foot in there. All right, cover four is what we're going with this time. We still trying to feel out what they're trying to do this game. Looking like they're keeping it on the ground. We got somebody there. Oh, Jordan Davis just ran over my safety. And y'all guys, tell me how y'all feel about the combination we went with today. The jerseys, man. There's another different combination for us, man. Trying to spice it up in that department, man. We have a few, a few items that we can, you know, play with. And keep things fresh for us. Oh, man. They go Jordan Davis again, taking out to the right side, man. You see why they are one of the top offenses in the country right now at this moment. They have a lot of threats. The running back, the tight end, <laughs> the wide receiver, the quarterback, everybody, and they look like some stats. There you go. Big tackle from my boy Magwood. Able to get in there to slow down Big Trey. And he out here trying to get it going for his team, man. As long as we keep a couple guys at the at the um ball carrier, we will not be able to let up any big runs. All right, Wilkins. Oh, can Ryder get there? Big. Oh, Ryder got ran over. And Jordan Davis is he is looking as good as he ever been, man. One year in the game. And he is still out here feeling himself. And these guys looking just like the team of last year. Already starting off. So we're here at the goal line. Let's see if we can get a stop. Good way for McCoon to read that one. Big risk to take the quarterback. We didn't know if he was going to do it. But that's a big risk we took. And it paid off. Let's go, baby. Come on, can we just hold these guys to a field goal? Look at nobody's out there in this in the um yard for these guys, man. All right, we here. Can somebody come down and get Jordan Davis? Come on, McMars got ran over and Jordan Davis took him to the end zone. My goodness, there he go again, Mama. That man again. He said he won't recognition in the Sun Belt. Let my guy. McMorris get ran over. He is the best player we have on defense. And if he's doing him like that, I feel sorry for the rest of my team. All right, man. A quick, a quick touchdown by these guys. We're going to have to control the ball. We cannot go back and forth with these guys. They have too much, too much star power. Miller can able to get out of the end zone and get us a few yards there. We're going to go with the mesh here. First down, we're going to go for a pass. Oh, he was playing this set. That coverage was great right there. But Woodruff almost got it in there. He almost got that pass in there. Would have been a big play to start the game off. Good time to take a chance at a play action. Oh, man, he overthrow his wide open tight end there. Let's 
So we're going to go with slot pose here. Whew, a pretty tough start to the game. Oh, and he, oh man, he threw it way out of the vicinity, bro. Come on, my boy Woodruff. I know the ball is wet, everything else. I know the ball is wet, man. But we got to get something going. All right, shank punt at the 50. Not a good punt at all. Not a good punt at all. It seems like the weather is getting the best of us already. Arkansas State got a big game this week, man. They're going up against Arkansas. An in-state battle. I wonder if they can pull the upset. Not Arkansas is not that much better than they are. Man, the read option is killing us right now. And Morris is left one-on-one -on -one with Jordan Davis, and he is they loving this read option this year, man. Everybody is trying to do the read option. And they have the horses, the quarterbacks, to do it. All right, stay there. Oh, good tackle, Wilkins. Didn't know you were going to get off your block like that. All right, so what we're going to do here is cover four. Since it's second and long for these guys, they may want to take a shot. we on the road, so you know it's a little tough for our defense, but we still need to perform. We knew they want to take a shot. Luckily, the guy dropped it across the middle. Yes, sir, that rain is getting to everybody, I see. Week overload three, baby. Let's go for it. Let's get it. Wilkins coming off the edge. Oh, finally got there. The freshman cornerback, my boy Holland, able to get in there. This kid right here is coming to play early, man. That's what I'm talking about. Big sack, boy, because he was looking to fire it down the field. We're able to get that turnover on the downs. Alright, a coffin punt. Dang, he nailed that one. Put his wit inside of it, bro. Okay. So we're going to run the dive up the middle, man. We can't take any chances here. They got our backs against the wall, and they probably be lit. Oh, man. We able to get something there. Five yards is great. We're going to go with the draw here. Stay on the safe side. We're going to try to at least get a first down before we take any shots in the passing game. Oh, man. He's there. They just collapse on the whole play. The offensive line wasn't prepared there, man. So we got to go with the fork here. We may roll out with the quarterback because I'm not confident anything is going to open up. Oh, good way to go out there and get it, Robinson. That's what I'm talking about. Good way to go out there and get it. We can try to get it to him on the outside, but it was underthrown, but he died back and get it. That's what you got to do, man. Seniors, seniors, you got to step up, help your quarterback out in times of need. All right, so we're going to hit McLeod on the bubble there. He broke one. But only was able to get one yard. Are we going to go with the stick play here? Maybe Robinson can get some separation early. And he, oh man, off the back foot, man. Off the back foot. I know he was eager to get it to him, but <laughs> we can't afford to be making passes like that. Overthrowed again. Oh man, they got my boy Woods rattled out there. The last game we played these guys last year, we were at home. But now we're at their place, and what's the odds of it for the weather to be in their favor? See, these guys from Louisiana are used to the rain, they're used to the nastiness on the field, so they can, you know, it's, it's in their nature. And for us, man, from South Carolina, we used to 
A little rain, but not as much. It's coming down heavy out here, boss. And they go Rogers. But it's coming down here pretty heavy. They they can run the ball. They can hold on to it. And they're practicing this almost half of the year. All right. We got to get a stop on D. We were able to get a first down. Oh, my goodness. He had me confused on which way he was going and everything, man. The quarterbacks be smart when they're pretty good with that read option. The Sun Belt is a very underrated conference, I believe. A lot of good teams in here, a lot of talent. They get overshadowed by teams like the, um, conferences like the SEC and the ACC. They get overshadowed. And the Big 12 and all that. But they, they have a lot of good talent out here in the um, Sun Belt. And a lot of great football being played also. But we're going to bring the Sun Belt to prominence, man. Can we get off a tackle? There we go, Mason. That's exactly what we need, young fella. Get to the quarterback, man. You've been silenced all year long, man. I know it's a learning curve for you and everything, but... You got to use that talent, my friend. You got to use that talent. That raw talent that we know that you have. You got to use it. Okay, see if we can get that pick. Big pick from Brown there. Able to come over the top and get that and snag it. That's what I'm talking about when you have senior leadership. It's able to pay off. That senior leadership is giving us some type of some type of help man that's what i'm talking about big interception now we probably got the momentum in our favor and we may be able to make something happen the speed on the defense is crazy my boy mcleod not able to get no room no time to do anything Ooh, McLeod, good way to find that hole there. And we're able to cut up the middle. The defense is pretty good, but not that great. And we may be able to make a lot of things happen on in the running game like we talked about. Now, the secondary is pretty good. One of the best, like I said, in the conference. But we're going to still have to take our shots at them. Hopefully we can get something. All right, so we're gonna go with a draw here. Straight up the middle. We got Skogan back there. Nothing on that play. <clears throat> yes, sir. We had a few scares earlier this year already with injuries, man. Last year we went through majority of the season without even seeing our first injury to the almost a uh, few games before the Senate season end. Man, he chucked that one too far up there. But yeah, before we seen season end, man, we didn't see anything. Now we seen a couple of injuries already in the first few games. But everybody was able to come out of those um those bruises and nicks unscathed, and we are able to get them back into the game. No big blunders already. No big big problems already this season. We gonna run cover two man here. Oh, oh man, we got beat on that play. Jamarcus Bradley was able to get that catch across the middle on the slant. See, they put the um, receiver in motion. We thought they were going with a read option. They can you see they got so much. They the offense just opens up, man. We're going to the second quarter, man. Look at the stiff arm from Jordan Davis. Look at my boy coming in and get some pressure on him eventually. And the big interception from Brown. We wasn't able to do anything with that drive. But we're able to move the ball in spots, but not, not very consistent with it. So here they go in motion again. Jordan Davis. Oh, come on. Come on.
come on, can we get any holding calls or something? They they just giving my guys, they put my guys in the dirt. All right, so they're running the screen here, and we're on top of it. Glad we're able to get there to slow that play down. And we're going with the cover four here. So this is second and long. We're running four down right now. Mason and Will, because we need something off the edge, you guys. You got to get off your blocks. Big tackle. Jaquet couldn't get anything. Cover two. Hopefully, we can keep everything in front of us. Anybody over the top, we got two safeties there to try to save us and a couple and a nickel back. All right, can we get off it? Oh, oh, that could have been a big play if he could have jarred the ball loose there. Able to dump it off. Look at it. He dropped it right where he needed to in between two defenders, yo. Alright, so we run a man here. I believe they're gonna run the read option. Mm, not a read option, but it was a, a sweep. We were able to be on top of that one. Big tackle from Kerry Mason. He's able to cover a lot of ground at 6'6. Six, six. He's able to cover a lot of ground. And he stays fresh because we don't have to play every down in my defense in his 3 4. You're, you're not. Asked to play big hit and good way to get there on the D. You don't have to be. You don't have to play a lot of downs, man. Only people that are on defense have to play a lot of downs are mostly the linebackers. So we going with four down linemen here. Hope we get something off the edge, baby. Come on, Mason, give us something. We got McCoon coming. Ooh, almost caught it, but we were down defense to knock that one loose again. Big play, big play from the D, man. All right, Milliken back there. We're going to call for a fair catch. Hopefully it goes to the end zone. It does. And let's bring it out. We're still in it. We just need to capitalize on offense. All right, we're going to run the play action flank or stretch, man. We may take a shot across the top, but there has to be nobody there. I see the safety cheating down, so maybe he's coming down. We might have a shot. Oh, it's too far out there. We got a step into our throws. My boy Woodruff is throwing off his back foot too often now. Okay. McLeod able to get something up the middle. Give us seven yards. We might go full fledged into the into the running game. We're gonna, we're gonna try the fullback dive here. Nothing there. Man. Should have passed. Should have did a play action or whatever, man. They killed that as immediately. As soon as he started running, it was there. Thought we could catch him off guard. All right. They got the ball back on a three and out, man. <laughs> Our defense is going to give in eventually if we don't get anything started on offense. Three down linemen here. We in a nickel. Big Mason was down there, but you know Jordan Davis kept it. He ain't stupid to make that type of pitch or anything, bro. So we're going to bring McMorris down on the blitz here just to give a different look. And Rob was able to get it there, but Ryder was able to stop him before he got anything else. We were able to keep tabs on Rogers. Able to keep tabs on him. We don't want him to go crazy. Jordan going crazy already, but we don't need two of them going crazy. Ooh, a 
couple drop passes, bro. It's saving our defense. Because the wide receivers are getting separation they need. They just are not able to reel in those catches. I'm gonna go cover three here. I, I'm kind of. I wanted to do all dogs go and force him into um making a quick pass, but we got three wide outs. I don't want to take that much of a risk. Oh, wide open in the middle. I believe that's the tight end, Carlos Robinson, or maybe they're running back. Maybe the tight end. Hell, he built like a running back. Yep, that is him. There you go. Ryder able to get on top of it. Wisconsin is on top of Michigan 17 to 0. Kirk Herbstreit be calling them plays. He be calling them games. I guess he just go with who has the most powerful offense. And we know Wisconsin have a great offense this year. Oh man, he just blew the top off the defense and able to get in for the touchdown. Huh, how did that happen? I don't know. We were there. The speed, we couldn't catch up with him. That's how he got in front of us. So they're up by two scores, man. It don't look like last year, though. Last year, we were down like 35-something, 30-something 30 before halftime. So our defense is playing a lot better. We have got a lot better. Oh, man, that boy Milliken, boy. How many returns you want to take back this year, boy? We're going to dive it up in the middle here. Hopefully we can end this drive and take all the time off the clock. Oh, man. Nothing was there. We try to kick it to the outside. Four yards per carry. Pretty rough game. You're going to do the draw fake bubble, man. Oh, I saw the seam. I wanted to kick it. I thought we were able to kick it to the outside and go to the house. A big run there. I'm gonna hit him with the play action right now. See if that'll open up our passing game. Oh man, <laughs> he had it on the money though. Good help from the defense. I wanted to go to the tight end, but he was getting covered pretty tight, and my running back, a fullback out of the backfield, was, you know, he looked like he was guarded too. Only three yards on that rush there. So we're going to do a comeback Z post. Maybe we can get my tight end clap the wide open. Or maybe Snellis can find a scene. Oh, man. I didn't even know what I did there. I just had hit the wrong button, man. Nervous. I wanted to go to Clapton, but he wasn't. He was covered. Oh, Jackson, hope he go out of bounds. Thank you. Linebacker dogs, man. Let's go. Oh, man. Good way to save our tails, bro. Good way to save it. Because that was going to be not good. He ran over Magwood like he wasn't nothing. That's a linebacker, Rogers. Oh, man. Out to the edge. Able to catch that one, Raheem Malone. Two man on those what we going with right now, baby. Oh, 
Hopefully we can keep these guys from getting into the end zone before halftime, man. We don't want to go in down 21-0. We're going to cover three here. Oh, my goodness. Jaquette finally gets him one. He is having a day against us. We don't match up well with these wideouts, man. No, sir, we don't. We don't match up well with them. They, they, they are too athletic, and we are too inexperienced. And only person I know that can hold their own is Hall Hallman, and they're not gonna take that many shots at him. Touchdown! Another one for your boy Jordan Davis. He's in there again. Running people over. That time was Thomas Brown. Took him all the way into the end zone. Well, so it kind of looking like last year. All right, so we're going to try to get something going on this drive. We able to move the ball on the ground, get first downs. But the passing game, they get too much pressure on us. But we gotta try to get something. Hopefully we can get Robinson on this play here. Uh-uh. No Robinson and almost threw a pick off the back foot. We gotta be still in the pocket to make these passes, man. I don't know what to say. <laughs> the receiver is not going the extra yard to get to make plays. The quarterback is not even getting it in there in the in the vicinity for them to get it. Hopefully, we can get something here, man. Just trying our best, man. Just trying. Two for fourteen. We, I believe we just need to go to the drawing, go, go back to the drawing board, come out in the second half, see if we can give a different approach. Because what we did in the first half is not helping, not working out for us either. So they're going to spread the field out. I believe they're going to try to put some more points on our heads before halftime. Can we get a pick, good pick from Hallman? We're able to get something. And can we get the face mask? First of the foul, face mask. We're going to take that along with the interception. Two picks in the first half. Just can't capitalize off of them. Hopefully, we can get something here. We're going to run the post corners as nothing else is working for us. Hopefully, Clapter can find his little... Find him a spot into the defense. Oh... Two for 15, man. We only completed two passes. Had to get rid of that one. And they hit us with intentional grounding. Is it going to cause us to lose the down? And give us... <laughs> Third and 25, man. We're going to just run the screen play, play here to be safe. My goodness. Can't even run the screen play. They all on top of that.
All right, so they um they got 272 yards on us in the first half. 38, 38 plays, man. Hope we can hold them for these last few seconds. My cornerback over there is Anderson. He's cold. He's been getting roasted all day, so he should be heated up because he getting burnt. Oh, can we get the pick? Good defense, mentor. We're getting the turnovers, but we can't do anything with the turnovers. All right, so we're here um, second and ten, man. I think we can get some pressure on the quarterback. Good tackle. They're going to the hurry up. I don't know. I just called Buzz 3. Hopefully. Hopefully it helps us out. He's audible in that line. And we hear, oh, he slipped past. And he gets the first down, man. Jordan Davis got 100 yards on us, rushing two touchdowns in the first half. What can we do? When the play breaks down, he makes something happen. He's standing in the pocket, and he got it to his wide out. 22 seconds left. We're going to go cover three here. I know my DBs are tight. They'll rather sit. There you go. He overthrow his wide receiver. Nine seconds left on the clock. We're going to go Fox Fire. Get some pressure. These line, these linemen can slant. And maybe some. Oh, we're there. Oh, we were there. And he never turned around, man. That's a, a rookie mistake. They called timeout to get the three points. We're going to call timeout to ice them. He nails it straight down the middle and give these guys a four score lead going in. We've been shut out in the first half and they've been putting points on the board. Hopefully we can take this back to the house and put seven points on before we go to halftime. Nope. But we will get the ball back going into the second half. We got to come out with a different, different game plan. The passing game is not working for us. We got to get something going. I know we're down by 24, but there's no need to panic. We've been down by more. And let's try to make something happen, guys. Milliken comes out and give us a big burst on the kickoff return. And this team only allowed us to get 64 yards in the first half, bro. That's 32 yards a quarter. And most of it came on the ground. We're going to do the slide outs here. Maybe we can hit an out route. I'm going to pull up for my running back this time since we're not being very successful in the passing game. And he overthrows the running back. We're going to give you this cross here. We got to get something, would you? Dang. We may go with hand in the next drive. I don't see any reason why not to. I don't see much reason why not to go with him. Cause I understand Woodruff is having a rough go at things so far, man. The pressure is not even there on him like it was in in that game we played against um Troy. They were able to get pressure on the quarterback and cause a lot of disruption. 
But he just is not feeling it. His inconsistencies are still showing, man. He has the talent. I just don't understand. Like last game, he was hitting him. Boom, boom, boom. All over the place. Got in the rhythm. This game, he can't even get in the rhythm. Jordan Davis is just running the ball all over us, man. Are we going to bring in a quarterback, um, three-star quarterback, three-star kid in the next couple of weeks? He's going to come visit. And um, he, I think he's going to... He's going to be the future for this program. This quarterback head is going through right now. We're not sold on either player. We were sold on Woodward. And he's been giving us a lot of good. Now he got us back. You know, in the iffy, oh, what should we do? Should we finish the season with him? Good tackle, Ryder. Because he don't allow, he don't open the playbook up for the read option and... We're going to have to use plays like that. Big tackle. Keenan Barnes with another reception there. That's his second of the day. Crossfire. The defense is just, just talk. I know the defense is just tired, man. But yeah, we gonna um let me go we're gonna go with handing this drive here, man, to see if we can get some spark, man. It's hard to start a game, but it's easy to finish one. Hand has seen a major increase from last year. Over the summer he he got a lot better at every aspect of the game, man. So you may see him come into the game. He looks very fresh, he looks pretty good. But, you know, you have to be careful because his, his accuracy is not the best. So we're going to go. Oh, he found. Oh, man, we weren't able to get anything on that one. I tried to spin and get out of that real quick, but nothing there. We're going to go four verticals here. Going wide cross again. Should have just kept running to the first down when I thought, oh. Should have just kept running to the first down. I seen the DB coming. I thought he was going to react. He probably would have stayed on the wide out. And I thought we were past the line of scrimmage to even pass the ball. Quarterback controversy. Our quarterback, what you call them? Quarterback woes. That's what we have. He's steady running the ball. This kid must be made of iron or something because he don't slow down he don't stop the bruises are not hurting him nothing is you know he's not slowing down out here and the smart thing they're doing is keeping the ball on the ground a lot of the plays can we and they're just killing us with this read option boy Magwood. Oh, my boy Menta. Oh, I thought you was hurt, bro. 
We can't afford it. No, sir. Come on, defense. Y'all been doing wonderful all game long. They were doing wonderful all game long, man. What more can you ask from your defense? Jaquette got 100 yards on us. The first 100-yard receiver of the year. What more can you ask for your defense? Jordan got 255 yards passing. And 100 yards on the ground. And he's not looking to slow down. Luckily, he dropped that one because we weren't ready to get the read, the, um, the interception, bro. But, gay, yeah, let's go. You can see the defense jersey. They are super dirty out here. Rog is able to get a big run, probably his longest run of the day. He just got horses all over the place, man. Louisiana Lafayette might end up being in the top at the end of the season of the Sun Belt, man. We're trying to get up there, too. But with two losses, it won't look good. It won't be easy, either. We still got a lot of good teams to play against. Big stop right there for my boy Byron. I wonder if you got a... That's your first tackle all game, bro. Middle linebacker blitz is what we're going with here. They got our backs against the wall. Both of my cornerbacks and starting cornerbacks are ice cold over there. We've been getting torched in the second there. First down and goal. 263 yards pass and John Quest steady reeling them in. Come on now. <laughs> Come on, Brian. You gonna get run over again? You and um both of my safeties. Let's go two man under. If we can hold on to a field goal, man, we still give ourselves a shot. We got a whole quarter to go. Get out there, make that tackle. Oh, big tackle there. He is just knocking off every defender. Anybody that comes in his way, he's just brushing them off. So we're going to do two deep middle linebacker spy. Wide open. He spread it out. You know he's going to try to run it. You know it. And we stopped him at the goal line. They love to run the ball with that guy. Ten tackles from my boy Carl Ryder right there. Let's see if they can miss a, a give me field goal. No, sir, they're not missing that. Well, we're only down by four scores here, man. We done seen more miraculous things done before. Change quarterbacks. Just to give ourselves a shot. My goodness, my boy Milliken got laid out there. Only 64 total yards, 33 plays, man. Get out of bounds. Yes, sir. Three yards. Something positive. Something positive. Just throw it away because they were trailing you, boy. They were trailing you hard.
Alright, so we're gonna run the deep curl. Hopefully we can get dingus on that curl right there. Oh, he able to catch that one. I don't know how he reeled that in. I swear I thought it was an interception. I was like, what? The guy reacted on it, and he was right there. But Dang is able to make those tough catches like that. I don't know what he be doing, but he able to snag those catches on the regular. All right, so we're going to try this play one more time. I think we got the tight end right there. Good catch from Cloud. Can we get the face mask? Finally getting something going on offense. We'll take that. We're going to go four verticals here. Like what we got to lose. Robinson, hope we can get him by himself. Oh, no. We'll take Suttles right there. Big way to go out there and go get that one, Suttles. That's what I'm talking about. Man, that's what we needed. Finally. Finally. He put it out there. You go get it. You try your best, sir, and you go get it. We're going to run the ball at the middle here. Hopefully, we can get this score in before the um, quarter ends. All right. Unfortunately, nope. But we'll take the score at the top of the quarter. All right. We're down by four scores here. Finally able to get something to go on the offense side of the ball. Then we're going to slam it up the middle here. Just go directly at him. Don't give him any ways to find lanes to get on top of it. Ooh, McLeod able to knock it in there. Finally, we able to get on the board. It's late, but better than never. Seven plays, 81 yards, baby. Now we're within three scores. Let's go. It's not over yet. Northwestern got Michigan State in a tight battle. Michigan State is seeing um, having a new offensive coordinator, new defensive coordinator. It's going to be a hard learning curve for the um, Spartans. Hopefully they can stay at the top. They're at top three right now, but the head coach is pretty good. All right, so you see they got 22 more better, 22 more plays than we got. 22 more plays than we got, bro. So what we're going to do here is run the cover four. My defense has been on the field. It looked like they done been playing in mud all day. They've been on the field longer than anybody else. All right, come on, Ryder. Can we get a big tackle? That's what we needed immediately. And there he go. He is down. Running the ball 21 times. Which part of is not smart. It's not smart at all. He is going to get hurt if you don't know better. All right, so they got it back up in there. He don't look too much of a different from Jordan Davis and Nunes. And he's trying to run himself. And my boy Ryder is there on that one too. Two man under. And we're going to try to get in that backfield again. Oh, man, Rock is fine the lane and able to take it up the middle for a 20-yard game. That one hurt. We thought we had him. They got almost 500 yards on us, man. And they still got seven minutes to go. Come on, defense. Let's get a big interception here. He's trying to run it. Come with it. There you go, Ryder. Good way to keep your eye on these quarterbacks. I wonder what happened to um Jordan Davis. Can't be running with your quarterback 21 times, even though it's working. Relax. You got a big horse at running back. All right, good way to blow that up. Third and 12, baby. Let's get it back. Let's try to get some points on the board. If it wasn't, if, boy, are we looking for our defense. They got Milliken out there. Finally, he getting to show um, some burn at cornerback. Hopefully, he can get a big play. Oh, big pick. Oh, man. Almost had us one. Almost. That would have been huge. But we'll take the punt return here. Andre Nunez. So, spring elbow three weeks from Jordan Davis, man. They're going to miss that kid. And that's going to be some 
pivotal games for them. Hopefully they can still win it, win those games. But we trying to come back and get this win on this one. All right, we're going to try to post corner here again. Maybe get something. Clap, there's our first option. Able to get it off. Something. We didn't want to take the sack. We're going four verticals here. Hopefully Snellis can give us something. Why didn't my running back slip out of the backfield? What was going on there? I just don't understand it. He just stayed there, fake like he was going and stayed again. Well, my goodness, what are you doing, young fella? Man, we can't get anything going on that drive. Oh man, ULM just let Appalachia State have it. That dog on offense. You know that quarterback, he came back. That Garrett dude. Come on, defense. We asking for one more stop. You might have to y'all might have to score for us. Oh. Not paying attention to the ball. Maybe um Anderson is getting his feet up under him finally. Cover two here. Oh for three, Andre is man. He's he's not ready. He don't seem like he's he's familiar with what he's doing. All right, let's get in the backfield to call some disruption. We oh man, come on, Anderson. How you not put your hands up, man? How you not put your hands up? You standing right there. Look at you over your head, bro. 23 first downs on this, man. Now we need a big play. Good tackle. We need a big play, y'all. We need a major play. The defense has been on the on the field all night long, all day long for about a two weeks, two months. Come on now. There we go. Able to gang tackle. Colorado got 14 tackles. That's a shame. He's on the field that much. We're still here. Can we get this, a tackle? Oh, man. Nobody can tackle but Colorado, man. Ran us up for another score to the end zone. And that gives them 33 points. With the field goal, it'll be 34. And my goodness, last year we had a better better game against these guys. This year wasn't so great. In two games this year, we've been... Only able to manage to get one score on the board. Can Miller can get another score? Nope. He got chased down. Four verticals. We don't have much of a choice. Oop. Oh, interception. 
<sighs> it's not looking good. It wasn't looking good all game long. He's able to react on that play and able to do what good DBs do and intercept it. Big pick by Anderson and time off to the races. Let's go. We could have used it a lot earlier, but hey, we'll take it here. We could have used that on that play, but he let the guy threw the ball over his head. Now we're down by three stores, three scores still. Five hundred yards on your defense is not good. Never good. And we on the road for the next couple of weeks. We're gonna have to figure something out. Oh man, we had to tackle and he just broke out all of them. Elijah Mitchell. So it's looking like they got talent behind talent. <laughs> and it's looking like they're going to be okay for the next few years, man. Two hundred and twenty-eight yards rushing on us. I don't think anybody did that to us all year long. <laughs> oh, Kurt Hershey chose these guys to put it on us, man. He did. Big tackle from Harmon. Still fighting hard on defense. Hopefully we can get a stop here so we can touch the ball before the game is over. Nope. No way, Jose. Well, I believe they're going to run the clock out here, man. It was a hard-fought game defensively, man. The offense still having a rough time, man. Not able to get anything going. Not able to, you know, to run the ball. Not able to do anything this game. This is the first game we got totally shut out on the offensive side of the ball. We averaged like two yards per play for the whole game. So that'll do it here, buddies. We appreciate you guys for watching this video. Good game from the Raging Cages, man. They took us to the woodshed this time. This year, we, we fought back last year, but this year they didn't let us fight back. They know we were capable of coming back in this game, but they put the, um, their foot on our necks. But we'll try to get these guys next year, man. And also, like I always said, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell, man. And tell me your um, feedback or how you feel about the series. And also, 100 I shoot, baby. And we fall to 2 and 3. But I think we're going to get on the winning side of things next week, man. I believe so. So, man, holla at your boy, man. Keep it up and have a nice one. One.